Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's right, I got an early look at a shotgun. And a lot of you guys may be looking at this thing going, Jonathan, that kind of looks like a Tokyo Marui gas shotgun. And you'd be mostly right in guessing that, but it's actually not. This is actually imported by Jag Precision. It's part of their Jag Arms line, and this is the Jag Arms scatter gun. It's actually one of three currently in their lineups can be released here in 2017. They were actually shown early in 2017 at SHOT Show at their booth. And I was lucky enough, compliments of GI, Airsoft GI, to get my hands on an early, early, early release to kind of look at it and give you guys a rundown. Not a full review, well, because this still really is the prototype, but darn close because this is a final sample. All right, so externally, let's go over what this is. Like I said before, this is a clone of the Marui 870 gas shotgun system. So you're gonna get compatible parts tip to toe. So if you need to take a component off this, put it in a Marui or vice versa, it's going to work, which means out of the gate, good news, the aftermarket components will work on this shotgun. So a lot of stuff going on here, including some really good news when it comes to the price. I'm gonna save that a little bit toward the end because it's kind of a sweet deal. So externally, we're looking at almost all metal. Let me just go over what's plastic right now. Uh, plastic orange tip, uh, a little bit here on the front sight, but not too much, just the top little button there. The stock, the grip, and the pump. Uh, that's it. And uh, the store right here, actually, no, that's actually metal too. So everything else is metal on this gun. I mean, outer barrel, connector rails, the, the two below, the body, the rails, you name it, are all metal. What's also neat too is you get a nice big sight here on the front. It's got a white dot on my end. You can't see it on your end there. And then you get ghost ring back here in the back and some rail space. So you can run an optic, you can put something cool on here, something low profile. And that ghost ring, which you guys know, it's like kind of a, a big circle and you can line up with a dot and it kind of almost goes away, makes for very easy aiming. Moving on back to, you do get a swivel sling attachment point with adjustability left and right. This one's on the left side, so you can sling that thing and have it hanging just at that perfect, perfect little spot that you always like. The pistol grip itself, too, is a standard M4 style pistol grip. So it's like a, not electric gun, not AEG, but more standard like real AR or gas blowback. So you will be able to take this one off and replace it with your favorite gas blowback M4 grip to put it on there to customize it to your needs. Moving on to the back, you do get a stock here. It is a retractable stock on this version. There are actually a couple different versions. One's gonna have the traditional 870 stock, the big one with the gas tank inside. This one has the gas buffer tube. So in here, you do have the gas fill right here. It's actually green gas. You just take it, gas it up. It holds a ton of gas. It is the size of this entire buffer tube is your gas reservoir from here to here. So it does hold quite a bit of gas. You can get shot after shot after shot. I was getting like 40 or 50 shots before I ran out of oomph. And like toward the end, they started to peter out a little bit, but that is a ton of gas on there. Also, I want to talk about this. You do get a retractable stock on this. This is your standard law enforcement style M4 one. Uh, if you guys are cool with the style, hang on to it. It kind of gives you that tactical law enforcement military look. But since it is a standard buffer tube, you can put whatever you want. So you got a Magpul stock, you got something crazy, you want to get a PTS EPM, you want to do some strike industry stuff, you can put it on here. Uh, you name it, it'll fit on here as long as it'll fit on a normal airsoft gun. Moving on back around, you're gonna find the standard safety here in the front so you can't pull the trigger. Trigger itself is actually rather short, very short, which I do like. There's no gas in this thing right now. So we can pop it and shoot it there. Bought to the bottom, you get that standard button. Slight press of the button opens this door here at the bottom, will let you access it. Bigger press ejects that shell and actually drops out really well, which I do like. Kind of just throws it out. So for quick reloads, you can grab it and just mash that button. The shell's gonna come out. Standard Marie shells, also standard shotgun shells you're gonna find for even the non-gas blowback shotguns, like those standard three barrel, multi-shot, or even single shot ones. You can find these things absolutely anywhere. They hold 30 rounds, and we're gonna get to the round count here in a second of this because it does have a cool little feature under the hood. So putting that back in there, locks, very good in place, door shuts, pump here in the front. Like I said, it's polymer. It's really solid, really well made, but it does work nicely. Good rack. Good back, not a lot of play, a little bit more play than a Marui on this one. Again, this one's been passed around quite a bit, so that could just be why it's been shipped everywhere. But uh, I'll tell you, it still feels very solid. Last but not least is that little trick I was telling you about. 
pump that back under this door here where you would think there'd be a hop up adjustment. Nope, not on shotguns. You don't need that because you got a nice spread. The adjuster for three rounds or six rounds. You can make that switch flip here on here. So you push it one way, it's marked for three. The other way, it's actually marked for six. And that's how many BBs it will load and fire every single time. Obviously, you're going to get lower power with the six shots and you're going to get a higher power with the three shots. As you see here on Chrono, in the Chrono test, you're going to see, like I said, good blowback, great gas. It was kind of a coolish day, so you're going to probably see a little bit more power than I saw here just by a hair. Again, you're going to see the three round shots and you're going to see the six round shots and you do see that power drop because you're obviously you're pumping out twice as many BBs with the same gas. Range also, if you look here at the distance, I'm going to see about 100 feet, 120 feet, which is perfect for a scatter gun. It's all you really need to reach out and touch your opponents. Uh, again, there's no adjustable hop up in this. You're not going to be able to actually make that go higher or lower, but it does a fantastic job of hitting those marks at the range you're going to be engaging with with your average shotgun. So if you guys have been holding out for a Marui shotgun, you live in the United States and you guys can pick one of these up when they do drop from JAG, here is the good news. The price point on these is crazy. Now nothing's locked in stone yet, but pre-order price, we're looking at the mid to high 100s for this and the longer one. They also have a tactical version which does jump up into the twos, but that also includes a big heat shroud, a side saddle, and all kinds of other cool stuff to finish that thing out to give you that extra stuff. To give you some perspective on pricing, for around the same price of this shotgun, you can buy just this gas stock as an add-on to your Marui. That is the same price for this entire shotgun you can just buy this stock uh, by Angry Gun. It's one of the companies that make the one I'm actually comparing prices to. So do you buy just an Angry Gun stock or do you get a whole shotgun that you can run with? That is how big of a deal this is from a price point. Of course, when this final one comes out, I'll be testing it as well. And also keep in mind in this test too, I do own a Marui 870. So I have a very good point of reference to talk about where this is and a Marui 870. Mine is a breacher, a little shorter, but I will say they both performed so very close. But for the price difference, this is definitely one to look at when it comes out if you guys have been holding out for that Marui. So guys, I want to know your thoughts. This is kind of a preview review. I usually don't usually do these, but since this is a final sample, I was able to get a hold of one. I wanted to share with you, what are your thoughts on the Jag Arm Scattergun? Perfect Marui clone when it comes to fitment of aftermarket parts and then all the stuff you get for that budget price. I want to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Also, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, definitely check me out. I'd love to hear you have you as part of the Airsoft LG family. I do a QA show every week on Mondays and also have this, and I do a bunch of vlogs and stuff and some gameplay as well. But until next time, I want you guys to go out, play some airsoft, have some fun. But no matter what you do, call your freaking hits.